Hello, this is Andrew Powell, and this is another demonstration video. This project that I'm demonstrating is very similar to an older project that I did probably a few months ago, but instead of using the Nexus 4 board, I was using, I believe, the Z board. And in that project, there was a uh, FreeRTOS TCIP stack running on the, um, the, the APU. And in the FPJ was a core, I believe, richer than Verilog, might have been VHDL, but essentially it was grabbing samples from my, uh, I believe it was from the same uh, PMOD microphone and saving it in memory and using a host computer, you can connect to that server and basically grab those samples for analysis on the host computer. This project is effectively for, for the same thing, except instead of using uh, the Zinc chip, I'm using R just a uh, plain RTX 7 on the uh, Nexus 4 DDR board. And um, part of this project is actually a part of a collaboration that I'm doing with somebody on uh, Hackaday.io. I'm not going to speak in too much detail on that, especially since uh, there's going to be more videos on that as that project becomes more developed. But part of that project requires uh, basically analysis of uh, audio samples. So the project itself is going to be entirely written on a uh, different FPGA board. In fact, it's going to be written on a. Uh, it's going to be implemented over an Altera FPGA, but since I don't have it, uh, I'm just using this FPGA as a way of grabbing those samples. And uh, more importantly, uh, the learning points on this is that since I don't have uh, the Zinc chip and I'm not running uh, free RTOS, I'm instead using the lightweight TCIP stack to run the, to basically implement the server. And uh, I'm not sure how I did it last time, but this time I'm actually using the DMA as a way of grabbing the samples from the uh, the core written in Verilog to uh, drive the PMOD mic. So um, this is going to be slightly confusing how I'm going to do this since part of this project requires me to actually look at the, the computer screens at the same time. But before I start the project, and if you look at this first screen here, uh, as I was speaking I already started up that PGA. But, um, Part of, the, part of this project required me to learn how to use the SREC uh, bootloader. So effectively, since the, the actual server application is so large, you can't really fit that so easily on block RAM. So instead, I used the, uh, the Xilinx SREC bootloader. Basically, it acts as the first stage bootloader, and it uh, running it, you can uh, load an application from flash memory and then have the application run off of uh, main memory. So you can use very large, you can create very large applications, and I'm hoping in the future to maybe do some more uh, Linux stuff. But instead of using the Zinc chip, I can use a soft core processor. I think that'd be really cool, just so I can say I got Linux to run on a FBJ. Of course, there's already like support for this, so it's not like it's impossible. But I look forward to doing that on the second screen. Uh, I'm basically using MATLAB, and I wrote a script that essentially just connects to the Nexus board and then sends uh, how many samples that it wants and the application on the Nexus board is written such that when it gets that information it collects those samples from the uh, the, the PMOD spot, the, the PMOD mic core and then saves into memory and then sends it back over to the host application. So uh, right now I have it set up to basically collect I think it's around like six seconds worth of samples which is a lot of samples uh, it's like 256 times, basically 256 kilobytes worth of samples, but there's plenty of memory on the Nexus 4 board, and I think it's 128 megabytes, so I can actually make this longer if I wanted to. So, if I run the application, they just start speaking. Hello, I'm speaking right now, and this application should be over any second now. Hello, I'm speaking right now, and this application should be over any second now. So as you can hopefully hear, um, everything does sound louder when I'm recording than on the video, but if it, if it goes well, basically you should have heard what I just said. So I can like, I copy this statement and play it over again. You should hear it. Hello, I'm speaking right now, and this application should be over any second now. So. Obviously, the mic that I'm using is pretty basic. Um, you're gonna you're gonna hear a lot of noise, but this is actually perfect for the, the project that I'm doing with my friend from Hackaday, so it should work out just fine. But uh, that that's basically it. Is that it? 